Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. We are glad to have you here and today's video is going to be a little different compared to what we usually do. Um, it's not going to be a gameplay or a playthrough or a let's play. Instead we're going to be discussing on how to get someone, um, someone close if possible to buy you a video game. Um, especially, this works with parents. Um, yeah, especially with parents because that's one of the most common problems gamers have. The ones that are like underage maybe. Anyway, I'm using Far Cry Primal as a background video just so you don't have to stare at one picture for the whole video. And there are gonna be two methods and I think we can get started with number one. Alright, so at number one we have the harder method and you're gonna see why when you reach number two. Anyway, here, this one is for people who have like a little effort and time to spare. And uh, it's it's mainly for students, both with good grades and bad grades. Let's start with the bad grades. For example, you are a student that not necessarily has bad grades, but like medium and bad. Not, not the top ones in any case. Say you're a 5 or a straight 6 student, something like that. And you know, a parent would do anything to see his... Uh, kid or child or whatever get uh, some good grades you know like an A or a 10 so basically if you have like lower ones you just go up to your parent and say something like look mom or dad depends on who you're talking to um, if I get a like a, an A or a 10 or a 7 or an 8 whatever you don't usually get on this test or project or whatever you have that can get you a good grade uh, would you please buy me this game or w can you please get this game for me? And if you actually do it, which c can take like up to a couple days, um, they're most likely to say yes. Because just as I said, they would do anything to see you actually put some interest in studying. And um, also, there's an answer for students with good grades as well. For example, if you're a straight A or straight 10 student, it's obvious that you've been it's obviously that you've been working hard for it, right? Like not really hard, but you've been working for it anyway cuz you don't get those that easy. Anyway, you go up to your parent and in this case, you say something like, "Look, mom or dad, again, depends on who you're talking to. I've been working really hard this past few weeks, months, days, whatever you've been working for. And uh you know, I don't get to play a lot." I just have to say that if you have good grades, I think I will assume that you are not playing a lot because, well, obviously, you may not have the time for it. Anyway, you go and say, I have a, you know, I don't play that much anyway, and I've been working a lot, and, um, look, can I please have this game, or can I get this game... It, it helps me relax, it's good for eyesight and reflexes, and I haven't played in a long time, and can I please get this one game? And they're most likely to say yes, especially if they've been truly working hard and haven't asked for anything big in the past few days, weeks, months, just as I said, in the recent uh, past. And this method, it's, it's kind of... I don't know, I can't guarantee it works, but... I'm pretty sure it does because just as I said any parent would love to see his child uh, have like top grades and big grades and just make them proud overall. Anyway, I think uh, we can get to method number two. Alright, so at number two we have the easier and the faster method that most of you I think would like to use. I'm just assuming that you would because it's faster and easier just as I said. Um, anyway, this one has a little bit of trickery in it. So basically, you know those games that are not violent, they are pretty um, kid friendly and constructive and everything. Basically they're good. Let's say good. Well, all the games are good but this one's... Uh, these guys are like uh, informative and stuff like that like Zoo Tycoon for example or Minecraft or SimCity um, Let's start with Zoo Tycoon alright, so you're gonna be using Zoo Tycoon as an excuse When instead you want to get the game like Far Cry Primal or maybe Assassin's Creed or The Witcher You know any kind of game that you want 
but it's violent, you know, and your parent would definitely say no to it because it's violent. So you just go up with Zutaiko and you show them a trailer or a game plan and be like, Look mom, can I please have uh, this um, game, you know, it's about animals, you can pet them by using your Kinect, you just move your hand and basically pet the animal in the game and uh, all that stuff you know and you can just use the stuff that you can just say that your friends have it as well and basically it's a good game it's it's gonna teach you a lot about animals and it's nice overall it's about building your own zoo managing cash and stuff I think that's what it is about correct me if I'm wrong not a fan of these games but I feel like it's a good idea to use them as an excuse Minecraft as well and for Minecraft you even have a for Minecraft, there's even this excuse, there's this one uh, article on the internet, I think, that says Minecraft is going to be used in schools to teach children uh, chemistry and crafting, I think. That's what I saw, I'm not sure about it. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, can you can use these excuses, even show them um, the proof on the internet. And, you know, when instead you're going to be getting uh, a game like... Far Cry Primal or Assassin's Creed or anything like that. And for this method, I highly suggest that you order it off of the internet. So it comes, you know, it's basically in a bag or something like that, in a box, so your parent doesn't see the um, front of the game, the like, uh, the collect, I don't know, the case that it comes in in order to. Um, avoid the fact that it's violent, you know, just so you don't, so they don't see it. And, uh, yeah, you can order it off of the internet, ask them not to open it, because you want to take a photo of it, or God knows what you want to do with it. They're not supposed to care, mine never opened them for me, so. Yeah, this is pretty easy, and, uh, but, seriously, make sure when you they come in to check on you if they do that if they have an habit of doing that make sure you're playing uh, something that's like not necessarily playing but just go in the in the home screen and the dashboard just so they don't see that it's actually something else you know and tell them you have to do a little bit of stuff you know download something or fiddle with the settings or whatever and yeah basically this is how you make someone buy a game and you can combine these two for example, doing the good grades excuse and adding to it that it's a non-violent game, uh, informative and everything. Yeah, which would be pretty cool. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you for watching all the way here. And I want to remind you that you please check the description for a lot of cool stuff and possibly helping us. And also leave a like or comment to tell us uh, no leave a like or dislike my mistake to tell us what you thought about this video in a nutshell also leave a comment and to let us know what you would like to see on this channel from now on if you'd like to see more gameplays more playthroughs or uh, another video like this one uh, anything you want us to we will research and try and see if it works and you know help you out with a couple of stuff also in the description you'll also find uh, ways to contact us mainly Instagram if you want to and yeah we hope this video helped you we hope you enjoyed it and we hope you'll see you here next time thank you for watching and yep see you next time